Understanding how subsidies affect fossil fuel production is crucial to analysing how moves to tackle climate change, along with decarbonising electricity transportation and generation, will impact the global economy. The latest analysis by Ron Stahlbeck, writing in Nature Energy, reports that at an oil price of $50 a barrel, subsidies for US crude oil producers, tax breaks and other subsidies push nearly half of new oil investments into profitability. When leaders of the G20 and Asia-Pacific economic cooperation economies pledged in 2009 to rationalise and phase out over the medium term inefficient fossil fuel subsidies, they qualified that pledge with the words that encourage wasteful consumption. That the leaders of these two forums focused initially on consumption was perhaps not surprising, as the only systematic, internationally comparable information on fossil fuel subsidies available at the time related to that particular, a bit large set of subsidies. Those resulting from policies that keep the price of fossil fuels below their corresponding reference prices. At that time, the value of these subsidies was around $300 billion annually. Clearly, many subsidies for fossil fuel consumption encourage inefficient patterns of energy use, impede investment in clean energy sources, and frustrate efforts to address climate change. But policies supporting investment in coal mines and oil wells can also distort markets. In 2009, these efforts were recognised but information on the nature and extent of such government supports was not systematically collected and reported. Since that time, much more information, most notably from the OECD, has emerged on the ways that governments support the production of peat, coal, crude oil and natural gas. For OECD countries as a whole, tax expenditures account for a little more than two-thirds of the total measured producer support. Whether these particular measures constitute subsidies or normal features of the tax code is a much disputed issue amongst environmental groups, policymakers, and the oil and gas industry. While the effect of fossil fuel consumption subsidies on market is relatively well studied, the effects of government support on investment and production is much less well understood. Such subsidies, at some times, may enable firms to drill new wells and expand production. Others may simply be enriching investors in projects which were already expected to be profitable. Using the US as a testbed, these effects are the focus of a new study in Nature Energy by Peter Erickson and his colleagues from the Stockholm Environmental Institute. In conducting their analysis, the researchers examined a range of tax breaks provided by both federal and state governments and simulated their effects on investment decisions for all discovered but not yet developed crude oil fields in the US. For each undeveloped US oil field, they modified the appropriate proportion of cash flow to isolate the effects of individual subsidies, enabling the researchers to look at the combined effects of many individual subsidies flowing to specific projects. They found that at a crude oil price of $50 a barrel, tax preferences and other subsidies pushed nearly half of those new projects into profitability. Extrapolating this data, they find that maintaining these measures would potentially increase US oil production by almost 17 billion barrels over the next decade. They conclude that oil resources may therefore be much more dependent on subsidies for the development than previously thought. Government support for fossil fuel production matters because ultimately it's not national efforts to reduce fossil fuel consumption that determine emissions, but the global amount of carbon-based fuel that is extracted from the depths of the earth and combusted elsewhere. Ericsson and colleagues' detailed analysis shows that the effects of production-related support depend critically on the prevailing market price for petroleum, a conclusion that likely applies beyond the US. The IMF says that ending subsidies for fossil fuels would cut global carbon emissions by 20%. Furthermore, the resources freed by ending fossil fuel subsidies could be an economic game-changer for many countries. Developing the international cooperation needed to tackle climate change has proved challenging, but a key message is that each nation will directly benefit from tackling its own fossil fuel subsidies.